Hey guys, it's Shara from Woodshop Diaries and today I'm gonna to show you how I built our new garden. So if you remember about this time last year, I shared a garden patio that I built at our previous home that we enjoyed all last summer. And then we moved. So now that it's spring in our new home, it was time to set up a new garden and this is what I built. I put together these two super simple raised garden beds and added a trellis in between just in case I wanted to grow anything vertically this year. This build was really quick and a whole lot of fun. So if you guys are ready to get building, let's go. This year, I'm all about the outdoor projects because we have a big open yard to work with now in the new house. The only downside is that this place needs some grass. It's clearly pretty bare. So just <laughs> ignore that for now. I picked a spot in the yard that was pretty flat and pretty dead. That way I didn't have to worry about leveling any ground or digging up any grass already growing where I wanted to put my beds. I measured out roughly where I wanted to put it and rolled out my landscape fabric to block out any weeds from eventually growing up into my garden. And then I began the fun part, building stuff. I built these garden beds from cedar. I used 4x4s for the arbor corners, 2x4s for the arbor framing, and cedar fence pickets for the sides. I've got the plans for this build with all the dimensions linked in the description below. I cut 16 inches off each 4x4 post and set these shorter pieces aside for now. Then I cut one of my 2x4s in half and drilled pocket holes into the ends of them. Pocket holes aren't necessary here. You could definitely just use long exterior screws and drive them at an angle. But if you do use pocket holes, be sure to use the blue coat exterior grade screws since this will be an outside project. I made two arbor frames by screwing the 2x4s between the 4x4 posts about 4 inches from the bottom edge. Then I cut the fence pickets down to screw at the bottom. I kept the pieces that I cut off to trim out the corners later, which <laughs> you'll see shortly. I flipped the arbor frames over and screwed three picket boards onto the bottom of the 4x4s using decking screws. These fence pickets are easy to split, so I was careful to pre-drill all of my holes before driving the screws. I did the same thing with the pieces that I cut off the 4x4 posts earlier. Just screwed three fence boards between the two. With two arbor frames together and two small sides together, I carried everything out to my garden area along with 12 full length fence pickets. I assembled two garden beds together by screwing three full length fence pickets between the arbor frame and the small sides on both the front and the back with some more decking screws. The fence pickets I used here were six foot long, so these beds ended up being about four and a half foot by six foot and about 16 and a half inches deep. If you wanted to adjust the sizing, it's obviously pretty easy to do so. You'll notice that I didn't cut off the dog ear ends here. And that's okay because I came back later and trimmed the corners out to cover that up. With both beds assembled, I spaced them out about 40 inches apart. I played around with the spacing here and there's no right or wrong distance, but 40 inches between them looked good to me without being too cramped. So that's just what I went with. I cut 2x4s long enough to overhang each 4x4 post by about 6 inches and used the miter saw to trim off a corner just for a little decorative detail. Then I attached these between the posts about 2 inches down from the top and so that they overhung each side about 6 inches. No reason for the 2 inch thing except that I just liked how that looked. I used black timber screws for this because I thought that they looked nice and I'll link the ones that I used in the description, but you could definitely just use regular exterior screws instead if you prefer. Once the front and back pieces were secured, I added another 2x4 between them in the center. Then from the remaining 2x4 material that I had left, I just cut some corner braces. I cut these with ends 45 degrees and screwed them in using 2.5 inch decking screws.
Now, remember those offcuts from cutting down the fence pickets for the short sides of the beds? I told you I would come back to those, and here we are. I ripped them in half on the table saw to trim out the corners. You could use the full width boards, but I just thought that the thinner trim looked a little bit better. I screwed these into the corners to cover the dog ears and just to add some visual interest. These corner trim pieces are totally optional. So I thought about putting these pieces on the outside just to kind of keep these pieces on the sides here like together because they are a little flexible since they are so long and so thin. But I don't really like what this looks like on the outside here. So I'm gonna put them on the inside and um, just screw them in through here so it'll kind of hold these together in the middle. I think it would look better if I ripped these in half and used like a thinner piece on the outside here, but um, I'm gonna be honest, I don't wanna walk back to the shop and cut these, so I'm just gonna slap them right here on the inside. I screwed these pieces in at the center on each garden bed just to help add some support. Then I stapled welded wire around the arbor. This welded wire is also optional. The arbor is pretty if you just wanted it for looks, but it could also serve a purpose if you wanted to use it to grow things vertically. I'll probably be planning some things throughout the year that could grow up this trellis, so I just added some wire here to give me somewhere to tie off the plant. You could also screw some wood scraps here to make your own trellis, so feel free to get creative. After the wire was stapled in place, I lined the inside of the garden bed with landscape fabric. I just stapled the fabric around the sides and trimmed away the excess, which somehow proved more difficult than it should have with the wind working against me here. This also isn't necessary, but it does kind of help to hold the soil in from running out of the cracks between the sideboards. And the rest is just for fun. I wanted to dress up around my new garden, so I added some edging, then some mulch, then, for some color, I added some plant hangers and a few flowers. We filled the beds with a mix of topsoil that we had from the field and bagged garden soil. And finally, it was ready for planting. I'm really happy with how this new garden project turned out and we've got plenty of room to add onto it later, as we need. Eventually, I would like to add a patio out here nearby, but that's another project for another day. I hope you guys enjoyed this build, and if you want to keep up with all the upcoming projects and plans, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on what's coming next. Thanks so much for watching, friends, and until next time, happy building!